yeah, valet parking. If you're like in high school or even college and you're just looking for a chill fucking part-time job. Dude, we could uh, tell valet parking fucking, stories for sure. Yeah, do that. Valet parking is that was the most fun summer ever. The greatest summer. That ever. was the greatest summer of my entire life. Summer after senior year of high school. I hate to be like the guy that always looks back, but I mean, we like to tell stories here, so of course we're looking back all the time. Yeah. But um yeah, the summer after senior year, it was like Gavin and I, we were going to go to film school in L.A., but it started a little bit later than most schools. It started in October. Yeah, so it wasn't like, you know, growing up your whole life, you have three-month summers. Well, this was like, boom, four-month summer, and you're adults now, so that comes with certain powers. But we're not quite adults, so we don't have all the same obligations. So we're working... But we don't have any real bills because we're staying at home. We have cars uh, so we can get around. Um, what is it? Gavin and I, like my mom had like a religious kind of stronghold on what we could and couldn't do forever. And we're at the age where we're like, oh, fuck that. We're going to L.A. soon. And she was kind of like, ah, I kind of want, want my kids to like me, so I'm not going to be overbearing anymore. Um, so we were just like, we could just like do our own thing, like go to work fucking drink, smoke cigars, play video games with our friends, go to work, and just keep doing that, waiting for, and save up money all summer, waiting to uh, move to L.A. and start college. And, yes, four months of that. And working, I worked as a valet parker. Gavin, uh, he worked at a restaurant, and then right before the summer started, he was like, fuck this stressful-ass restaurant gig. I'm going to do valet parking with you. And I was like... All right. With you and Anthony. Yeah, and Anthony started working there too. But yeah, okay, so valet parking, it's fun. But valet parking in Palm Desert in the summer, let's just say like (laughs) we got away with so much shit because they couldn't fire us. Because (laughs) like like I can't tell you how many times I got a phone call to wake me up and they'd be like, Garrett, what's up? And I'm like, oh, hey, boss, how are you? And they're like, I'm doing good. I'm just wondering where the fuck you are. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> just like, ah, yeah, again. He's like, yeah, again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we I'm were like, late. I'll be right there. We were late minutes. like one set of every four <laughs> shifts. We were late. Yeah, like the boss wakes me up. Like, I'll be there at thirty. Yeah, sorry, you know. And he's just like, again, huh? <laughs> Never got written up though, because <laughs> dude, we only worked uh, eight to like sometimes 10 hour shifts. I remember there was a special week where I worked uh, like six 12 hour shifts, six 12 hour shifts. And then that was like, that was after a week of like a nor like a regular, like six, eight hour, 10 hour shifts. Like I was just like, I was putting in work like a fucking man who's like got a full family to feed. You know what I mean? Like I was working my fucking ass off. But it's, it's a, it, like looking back, it's the it's the biggest joke, like of a job responsive like responsibility wise. You know what I mean? Well, they're I you mean, just park cars. Yeah, but like, they're that's really it. nice cars, and if you crash one, it's a big fucking deal. Yeah, it was a big deal when you're 18, but like looking yeah. back now, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's the easy it's an easy fucking job, and that's why it's awesome because mentally you can focus on other shit like college or fucking you know, side projects that you're doing, yeah. you know, if you're just doing that as a side gig to pay the bills and you're doing something else. But we were running, like, all day you fucking park a car, run back, park a car, run back. Uh, so I remember I, like, tried to do the math. I was I was running, like, like I don't know, eight miles a day if you added it all up. I remember one time, and this is 120-degree weather sometimes, and the they were doing construction on the hotel, so that the entrance of the hotel that has a big overpass in the shade, you know, under like a canopy that you drive underneath and then you unload your baggage, they're remodeling that. So the entrance of the hotel became the, this other part of the hotel where there was no shade. So it's like you're, you're fucking standing all day outside with like very little shade. They had little umbrellas st- parked pay- places. And then you're running back and forth all day in the sun. And then you have to get in cars that have been parked in the sun. So it's 120 degrees uh, Fahrenheit outside. You get into a car 
that's been parked in that weather in the sun, it's like 150, 160 degrees inside that car. It's unlivable. Like you can't even breathe that air. It's so hot. It would so, singe your nose hairs. You breathe yeah, in and you're like, you couldn't it breathe. It burns your nose because it's so fucking hot. I'd have to, I'd have to hold my breath. I got really good. And it was kind of like a, it became like a game. Like I could figure out the air con of every single, uh, every single car manufacturer company, like in like less than 30 seconds, it'd be like, oh, BMW got this. <laughs> and the air con's blasting in like low temperature. I'd like memorize the dashboard of every single model of car there was <laughs> yeah. to where I could get the air con going in like less than 30 seconds. And then roll the window down and stick your head out. And Sick then all of a sudden, yeah, you get and then you roll down the window. All of a sudden, 120 degrees outside feels like a brush of fresh air. It's like, oh, nice breeze. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, we, dude, I remember one time it was so hot. Um, they gave out like, you know, they had little bottles of water to give the guests, you know, who are like, welcome to the Marriott Hotel. It's like a fucking four and a half, five star hotel. Um, and they got us fucking buffoons <laughs> at the front entrance. Like, like, dude, we, we, were, we were so the... reckless with those cars. Like, so <laughs> reckless. It was like every goddamn, uh, like you hear, like, like Ferris Bueller's Day Out. Like, you, you give them the nice car and they're like, ah, fuck this. We're going to take the car and take it for like a crazy drive. It was like just a hair underneath that. Like, we never left the property. But I would take these cars out and do like donuts and shit <laughs> into the fu- like straight yeah. donuts in yeah. the grass fields and there, stuff. Yeah, <laughs> there was there was a tennis like the Marriott hosted like some really big events, and so they had like overflow parking where you would like the parking lots f- like totally filled, so they'd just have a giant grass field that they'd just park cars in if the parking lot was full. And so what we would do is if uh, if we had a badass car. Is we're just which fucking, we often did. which we often did, because yeah. freaking you know Palm Desert is known for rich people and nice cars to and go down there, vacation and play golf. It's a golf resort town, um, and we go down in these nice cars, just take them to that grass field and just be like, Wah! just like I just remember just power sliding and just totally out of control. I remember driving a fucking Mustang. And I just remember being like, I am in no control of this vehicle. I'm turning the steering wheel right, uh, left. It doesn't go left. I turn it right. It doesn't go right. It's just fucking doing its own thing. (laughs) I am in complete lack of control of this fucking car. And I just remember being like, this is awesome. (laughs) I remember. Remember how there was that. So uh, crazy. Yeah. What is it? The really, really nice cars. You couldn't do that shit with because the really, really nice cars Everyone had their eye on like the like the Ferraris and shit like that. <laughs> yeah, um, and we usually parked those closer to like like right at the front drive, like so that you only had a. It was always in like the best closest spot if you had like a Ferrari or a fucking. I drove a Ford GT, ten feet. <laughs> yeah, ten feet, <laughs> ten yeah, feet, because yeah. it was like right. But if you right got, on the drive, but if you got like a Corvette, yeah, it's a or, or a Maserati. Or, or just like a... Ooh, I took an Austin Martin for a spin. Really? <laughs> yeah. See, I, I didn't really do that many spins. I only did like a spin once, and it was in a Mustang. And it wasn't even like a crazy Mustang. They like they like I could have done it in like a Cobra mm-hmm. or a GT, a Mustang GT, but I didn't. I was just like, nah, too many people got I remember you got... Me. I got some, in trouble. Yeah, 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 someone saw you. Someone saw me go to the grass fields, yeah, and they gave I, me fucking an earful, like, hey, you can't be doing that shit. <laughs> I didn't get a write-up, though. Like, <laughs> I don't, like, they literally caught me joyriding in a fucking grass field, and I still didn't they get a write-up. couldn't fire us, because, look, we, like, we were good. We worked it all the time. We were good. I mean, we occasionally did terrible. Well, we never crashed any cars, and yeah, we were there. That's true. Like, man. we were there fucking six days a week for eight hours. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes ten hours. And so it's like the, the manager will yell at you at the beginning of your shift, and then you'll have, like, seven and a half hours of just, like, bullshitting. And then eventually you're just making each other laugh. Like, Gavin and I would just be showing everyone, like, fucking spinning back kicks and shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> I mastered. I mastered. I, to this day, I still impress people with my... And they're like, they're like big fucking deal. I'm like, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> like I got like, I, it's hard to do it like this, but like when you're standing up, like, I, cause that's what you do. You just stand up just all day, waiting for a car to show waiting up, waiting for a car to show up, and uh, you find ways to entertain yourself. And so I just got really good at snapping my fingers left to right, and um, 
to this day, I impress fucking people with that shit. They're like, you're so fast. I'm like valley parking. I just, I was bored. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I took a, a Corvette. Um, what is it? So yeah, everyone knows this. In a parking garage, the floor, the asphalt is very slick, very smooth. It's not like a street. Um, it's like slick cement. And I found out when I had this insanely powerful Corvette stick shift and Gavin and I, we had a stick shift car at the time. So I, like I had time, I remember there were times where like a new guy would be like, Garrett, man, like, could you take this fucking car? Like, I don't know how to drive a stick shift. I'm like, you fucking loser. Like I, you had to be able to drive a stick shift to get this job. And they're like, yeah, I fucking lied. I'm like, all right, what is it? And they're like, it's a Corvette. I'm like, fuck, here, take my Volkswagen. <laughs> I'll take the Corvette. And uh, so I remember, like, I got this Corvette, and I'm, like, revving it, and I'm letting go of the clutch just enough to where, like, the fucking wheel starts spinning. And I'm like, because I'm in this slick-ass um, parking garage, which is packed of cars. Like, there's just cars everywhere. There's plenty of things for me to run into. But... I'm realizing, like, as I'm going around the turns, if I just fucking give it a little gas and give it a little horse throttle, my tires start spinning and I drift a little bit around the corners. And I'm just, like, going around, sliding around this parking garage, not going too fast because I'm never letting the wheels get any real traction because I'm just going, just fucking, just, like, but the wheels aren't really gripping anything. And I'm just like, this is fucking awesome. Like, I got so much control. I, like, I felt totally confident. There was never a, a moment in my mind where, like, oh, I might let this get out. I'm like, this is so fucking easy to manage. Like, it's e- so easy to make these tires uh, slide. Um, and fucking, I'm, I'm never going fast. So it's like, if I ever got in a real trip, I could just stop. Um, and so I was just like, this is so fucking easy and awesome. And then, but, and it's just roaring. And I'm like, this is crazy. And then I finally, I'm like, all right, I got to go park this thing. So then I, um, I get to the gate where you have to punch in a code to get out of the parking garage. And I like stop for a second, roll down the window to hit the thing. And I realize I set off like 30 car alarms <laughs> in the fucking parking garage. Like the entire parking garage was fucking beeping after I got out of there. I'm like, oh, I'm drawing a bit of attention to myself. <laughs> You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, car alarms, like... like yeah, they don't do that anymore. They don't do that anymore. They're stupid. Like, car alarms never worked. You know what I mean? I remember going to the 4th of July party. It's like, oh, the fireworks. Boom, boom, boom. And it's like right at the finale of the fireworks. It's like the song's totally ruined because the fireworks set off like a car alarm. It's yeah. like the the... The the whole orchestra is just like playing their heart out to just like... You're just like that... Fucking car alarm just ruined my 4th of July. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. They don't do that shit anymore, thank God, because car alarms are dumb. I think one of the funniest Valley parking stories was... Um, oh, Lily's on. Hey, babe. My, hey, my girlfriend's Lily. streaming. Girlfriend's, she's watching. Um, one of my funniest uh, Valley parking stories was like we were up... So the routine of that summer, which was so awesome, was like, okay, if you most ships are eight hours. And then so I found out pretty quick that... Eight hours of working leaves eight hours of casual time and leaves eight hours of sleep all rather nicely. So yeah. it was eight hours of work, eight hours of fucking video games, drinking slash kicking with my friends at like land parties and stuff. Smoking and then, cigars. Yeah, smoking cigars. And then go to sleep for eight hours and then rinse and repeat the next day. Uh, and it worked pretty good. And you know how you have a runner's high? Well, when you valet park every day, you have a run. Like I was, <laughs> like I, all I do every day was go to work and run back and forth all day, and then with zero, with very little stress, it's just running back and forth, driving some yeah. nice cars, bullshitting with a bunch of friends, and then go back to playing video games, bullshitting with a bunch of friends, drinking, sleep, and rinse and repeat. And I had a fuckload of cash for somebody <laughs> that young with no, with no, no bills, no bills. I had yeah. so much money. And um, we, we just like barely went home. We just stayed at Jed's house for like. Remember the? F- it was like the fourteen day long land party. Yeah, yeah. And we went to Joey's for like a nine day. Yeah, yeah. It was just like <laughs> it was just madness. Our mom was like, "Are you guys ever gonna come home?" I remember she was well, like, "Think about it." I remember mom, she called, don't call me again. <laughs> I remember she called Jeez. me and she was like, "How do I know you're not doing drugs?" And I'm thinking in my head. We're not doing drugs. We're not bad kids. We're just like smoking cigars and just getting drunk. You know what I mean? <laughs> and like, it didn't even think like, oh yeah, drinking like alcohol—that's a drug. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, even if I did know that it was a drug, I would still have <laughs> been drinking with my with my yeah. homies. Uh, we're adults now, mom. Point is, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was like, mom, like you don't have we're, to. Know. We're not. Don't worry about. It. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> but yeah, the uh, one time I was we because I was out partying the night before or something like that. I get to work and I'm exhausted. It's like sometimes you have to be at work. I normally didn't get these shifts, but sometimes you had to be at work at like 7 a.m., and I didn't normally get that. But I remember one time um, there was like, I can't remember why, but my boss was just like, Garrett, what is it? We need you to drive out on the golf cart to the front entrance of the hotel and direct people where like the entrance of this convention is is or it's going to be or something like that. I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem, got it. And I get out there, and it's really early in the morning, and it's slow, so there's not that many cars and stuff. And so I'm in a golf cart at the grand entrance of this hotel. And it's like you, it's like to, the entrance of this hotel is you pull in off the main road, and then it's like a column of palm trees that you go through for like like a quarter of a mile. Yeah, it was like a that. big, big, huge grand hotel. entrance. And then right when you get to the front, it's like you could go this way or that way. And then there's me in a golf cart just pass the fuck out, just <laughs> completely asleep uh, in a golf cart right at the front. Of front yeah, yeah. And we hotel. and like we were so skinny. Yeah. Like we were so skinny back then. Man, I look at pictures of you and I when we were fresh out of high school. In high school, I'm like, oh my god, give give me a Somewhere. someone give me a sandwich <laughs> for like for fuck's sake. I I need to eat. I look so like skinny, and so I could just imagine like just skinny teenager. Just asleep in a golf cart. I was cart. He- I wasn't the head forward. I was the head back, <laughs> which remember, is even more. Yeah, it was more funny to look at. I imagine. <laughs> but I remember. I remember. Uh, I'm sitting there uh, asleep, uh, like completely out. And then all of a sudden, uh, I what is it? I just hear some like laughing, and I'm just, like, but it's not normal laughing. It's like black girls howling, laughing, like, <laughs> oh, hell no, oh, hell, are you asleep? Oh, hell no, my bad, my bad, no, no, go back to sleep, go back to sleep. <laughs> like, dude, I'm like, wake up, I'm like, oh, oh, what's going on? And I look over, and there's like an escalade of like six black chicks that are laughing their fucking asses off because they like see me all startled, like waking up. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think they like ask me a question like, sir, where do we go, huh? I think he's asleep. Oh, hell no. He's all, he's coming here. Because you were wearing sunglasses. Yeah, right? I'm wearing sunglasses yeah. head back. Yeah. Because uh, there's they're doing construction, so <laughs> we could wear sunglasses because we were outside all day. And so yeah. they wake me up, and I'm just like, oh, shit, that's bad. I'm like, did any, I'm like, I'm wondering, I'm like, fuck, like, did any cars just drive <laughs> right by me? I must have been out for, like, at least 10 minutes or something like that. Um, yeah. Like, uh, and so I was like, shit, all right, I got to go get some coffee. So, like, you know, against the boss's orders, I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm in a golf cart. I'm mobile. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to fucking, like, I'm going to, you know, fuck this. I'm going to leave my post, and uh, I'm going to go get some coffee from the cafe. So I go down. I grab some coffee. I come back. I get back into position. I'm like, all right, it's still slow. I think, I think I'm good. No, like, nobody said any shit. And then, uh, like, later that shift, also my boss just like, Garrett, uh, also, man, like, <laughs> were you sleeping out there? <laughs> and I'm just like, huh? <laughs> I'm just like, uh, and he's like, were you sleeping out there, bro? And, and, uh, and <laughs> <laughs> apparently oh, one of God. the, like, work, uh, other workers of the hotel, they drive on this main road in golf carts also. So, like, all these other employees, like, bellhops, gardeners, people who work at the spa or at the tennis courts or at the golf course, they're all driving their golf carts behind me. And I'm just like, past them. <laughs> and then they went and complained to the Valley parking manager. And I told him, yeah, might've been sorry. And then he just died laughing. I was like, <laughs> like we were such good friends with everybody. Cause we spent all day, every day with these guys that our managers are just like, you guys are fucking hilarious. Like, like, like we never got in trouble yeah, for doing yeah. anything. We should have a lot. 